Here's how you can check out the battery health of your Apple Watch. Right now, if you are on the watch face or on the home screen, if you swipe up, you can access the control center and you can see the current battery status, the current battery percentage of 83% for me, but this is not the battery health. However, you can actually check it out right in the settings. So if you go to the watch settings and swipe down, scroll down to find the battery section here. So if you tap on it, you can again see the current battery status, which is not the health, but you can see the battery health right under it. So if you tap on it, you can see maximum capacity of 87%, which is uh, pretty good for the way I've been using it, but it really depends on why or what you've been doing it, how long you've been using your Apple Watch, it depends on many different things. So you also have a little explanation of the battery health, uh, saying that it's a consumable component which becomes less effective with time. I mean, this is an important information. Whenever you're buying a second-hand device, you always need to take a look at this before you purchase anything to see where the device actually stands and what's really going on with the battery, if you can expect it to last at least some time. Well, there are other things, for example, you can take a look at your current status in the widget here, so for the tracking the battery, this is also a good idea. So you can put a complication on your watch face, it also depends on which watch face you use, but you can add the battery here. When it comes to third-party apps, well, there is also an option to download some something from the App Store, which is going to track the battery for you. For example, this app right here, but this definitely isn't something I would recommend. Of course, I can put the link to that app down below in the description, but for example, you can check out the battery of your iPhone, so that's good, I guess, but the watch cannot even tell you without an in-app purchase, but you can easily just take a look at it from the built-in watch phase using built-in features, so I don't think it pays off to buy any third-party apps for battery tracking. And the battery health is one and number which isn't gonna change no matter which app you download, it's built in here, so no worries about it. I mean, I wouldn't buy anything from the App Store or download any third-party app. Now, if you have ever wondered how long it takes to drain the Apple Pencil, it has to do with the battery. If you if you are considering that, if you are uh, like interested in this topic, check out this video right here. It's gonna tell you about it. It's a battery test I performed, so definitely take a look at it.